Good morning, you beautiful people. I hope you guys are having a wonderful day today. As much as I absolutely loved Modern Warfare and its beta and how much fun I had in it and how much potential that it has, there are a lot of negatives that we need to talk about. And one of the most prevalent negatives of this beta was definitely the spawn system. So we're going to talk about it. As a quick side note, you guys are getting a ground war specific video later this week, next week, sometime from me talking about my thoughts about ground war. And yes, the spawn system is atrocious in ground war. And you guys are going to get to hear me rant about that in that video. So none of that here. However, in the regular game modes of Modern Warfare on the regular maps, I still found myself spawning in absolutely horrible places. I cannot tell you how many times I spawned into an enemy's line of sight or an enemy spawned into my line of sight. I swear that has happened more times in the four days I played this beta more than the last four to eight years I've played Call of Duty ever. The worst map definitely has to be a Hackney Yard. When you spawn near those dumpsters, near that wall, it's just a toss up of whether or not people are going to be there or not. And I feel like they definitely need to iron out some of those spawns because it's definitely, definitely rough. However, I will say Hackney Yard definitely feels like the dome slash nuke town of Modern Warfare. It's definitely fun and fast paced and people are always fighting for the buildings and there's a lot of interesting stuff there. So, you know, that might just be that map but definitely the spawns of that map, absolutely horrible. However, domination is probably the best way to actually see and actually prove that the spawns are horrible. For the entirety of Call of Duty that I can remember, spawns have been tied to whatever flag you have captured in domination, at least as far as I remember, that's how it is. However, I quickly realized in Modern Warfare that might not be the case. The spawns might be a little too sensitive to flipping here in Modern Warfare, specifically on uh, Azure Cave and Gunrunner. Very bad spawns. Uh, there would be many times where I would spawn in on the enemy team's flag, and we would still have our home flag, but I would just spawn on their own flag, and they would have like C and B, and I'd spawn on C even though we have A, and it just, it felt wrong to me. I understand you want to protect people from being spawn trapped. However, I think the best way to prevent people from being spawn trapped is to make really good maps and maps that allow you to flank and get around enemies and to outsmart them. And also to have spawns that actually rotate rather than flip. Gunrunner is probably the most traditional Call of Duty map, so I can see it being a little bit difficult to kind of rotate those spawns, but this is definitely a wider map than a lot of, well, Treyarch maps, which isn't saying much, but I feel like they could have done a little bit better job of creating spawns that are safer and more rotatable. I feel like we captured the enemy's home base flag more times because we spawned there more than we actually had teammates pushing up or enemies pushing up to the other spawn. It made domination incredibly chaotic and incredibly unpredictable. Specifically on Azure Cave, however, I feel like the spawns very, very heavily favored anywhere close to the cave. I feel like you were either spawning in the cave or just outside the cave entrance. I rarely ever felt like I was spawning outside on the road or outside on the opposite end. And I feel like that was definitely uh, underutilized space within that map. You guys are definitely going to get a map or a video specifically talking about that map because of how much I dislike it. And one of those reasons is because I feel like the spawns just try to keep you in that cave as much as possible. And it doesn't really uh, flow very well and the spawns being close to the cave really just limits the players and it makes it really spawn flippy and it's just it's not great in fact gonza raid was really the only map that i felt the spawns were at least reasonable and predictable on I will say that the spawns definitely favored the corners of the map, specifically on the right side of the map near the playground area, either on the A side or C side. I felt like that was definitely the, the primary spawn, and I feel like we should be able to rotate to the left side of the map a lot more often, specifically on the A side. Like, you should definitely spawn on the other side of that corner more often. I know it's a little bit more open, that's where the open sniper lane is, but that's definitely going to get you, in my opinion, a little bit better flow. and 
there were a lot of times where I was getting a lot of kills, people uh, getting a lot of kills from people who were coming off of their spawn because they were just spawning in that corner and people are kind of mindless and they just kind of sprint out of their spawn and whatever, baby buffalo, blah, blah, blah. But because that map was so big, it never really became a problem where you were spawning next to anybody or close to anybody except for like headquarters, which was a little bit weird. But overall, uh, or Gonza Raid was definitely the best out of all these maps. I wish that I could explain to you how I would change the spawns. I wish I was a game developer and could actually come up with better solutions, but this was just my experience on all of these maps with all of these spawns. I know Call of Duty always has bad spawns when the game first comes out and they need a lot of data in order to fix them, but I feel like this is definitely the worst spawn system that at least I've ever played in any Call of Duty ever, and I've been playing Call of Duty since day one, since Modern Warfare 3, so in all these years I feel like this has definitely been the most crazy, chaotic, and horrible spawn system so far, but I have hope that they will give it some love because it needs a lot a lot of fixing and a lot of love in order to make this a, a lot better because this is definitely by far the biggest concern I have with Modern Warfare on a mechanical level. And don't get me wrong, I have a lot more videos critiquing my Modern Warfare experience, but that will do us for today. Let me know your guys' thoughts on the spawn system here in Modern Warfare. Until the next absolutely beautiful Call of Duty morning, I'll catch up with you guys later. And as always, stay beautiful.